I, 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 I love I love Hearthstone. Right. So like, I just tell people like card games for me are kind of like my, my vice. I'm gonna let this run for uh, a minute or so. I gotta replace the camera because it finally died. Okay. okay. Be right back. So do, yeah, make sure they don't play. But yeah, uh, Nitro or no, I forget Nitro. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Could you imagine the insane shenanigans, all the goonery the that goonery. could happen with that game? <laughs> and then forget, forget Mario Part, Mario Kart. What about Mario Party? This, that game is literally just shenanigans. It is. Honestly, Three players could team up on one person, and it would be legal. Do you know what's There's funny? There's nothing the TO could do about it. It is funny because Javi told me he's like, I think for Mario Party, only like the top two or the top one move out. So literally, you could, everybody could just team up the, the designated person they hate the most. And then the guy who comes out on top is whoever. It's literally a game of Mafia. It's literally a game of Mafia. However you choose to convince the other players it's to like fight each other. You got you to gotta create bonds and you got to break bonds. Exactly. <laughs> And it's like, okay, this person has the star lead. Now I'm going to pay Boo a bunch of money to jack that star. Give it to me. And now, even though, let's, let's be real. That game starts at turn seven. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like Monopoly. Monopoly kills your friendships. But honestly, Mario Party kills the ties that bind. <laughs> well, we talked about the IE here. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a shine here because uh, we do have main stage happening next month it will give the last few players their last chance qualifications for the summit is being held in the ontario convention center in the inland empire so, ontario, yeah so all of ie is going to be there uh yeah cool including the legend himself i'm hip oh i thought you were going to say scissor oh then yeah oh that's 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 beyond legend that's like in that's like uh, i don't even know what goes beyond legends that's not going to work for it the mythical. The there you go. The <laughs> mythical scissor. <laughs> okay, well here we are. Grand finals of Wednesday night fights. Doombre versus Raza. These are two players that have been grinding quite a bit. I know a lot of that. The IE, you know, that's one thing I gotta give them credit for is that they definitely they grind. grind with each other. Actually, the last time I saw, oh, I, I just saw Raza over at MSN this past Monday, and I kind of got to chat to with him a little bit, and he talked to me. He has not stopped playing this game. Literally, he told me every day he's playing. After he, after a tournament, he's grinding. Before a tournament, he's grinding. Not only that, like when I saw him at Evo, the first thing he told me when, he, when I went to his Airbnb, he's like, I'm not going to stop playing this game. He was playing with T3. He was playing with all these other players. And he told me, like, I'm not going to stop playing this game until I get to where I want to be. So definitely for Razo, like, his, his mentality of just don't stop playing. Keep Literally keep fighting, and I will get to where I want to be. And this is definitely showing off the results. Wow. He... Razo sniped Lumbre's recovery with the turn up, which actually stopped the momentum of Lumbre's up B. Yep. He just said, like, nope. You Eat your vegetables, young man. <laughs> I'm telling you, get, trying to get vegetables in Earthbound, actually, trying to get food in Earthbound is difficult. I don't know why that game is just like. Well, I, I, found a, got a I found a cookie, and apparently, all it heals is 10 health, but the, the sandwich heals 50. Lumbre has a, almost an infinite supply of turnips coming his way. Yep. You should definitely appreciate them if food is that scarce in uh, Earthbound. <laughs> okay, good conversion from down tilt. Actually, really quick, so sorry, because I, I haven't played Earthbound. The other thing that's super scarce in that game is moves that heal your uh, your magic meter. Super scarce. I have, like, it's, it's really hard. Like, I literally have to make sure I go back to the town the heal and then come back and fight the sub boss of the boss of the area right now this is not a sub boss battle this is actually a boss battle for lumbre and unfortunately it's going to cost him the stock they're trying to go for the pk thunder that's very unfortunate because lumbre was actually able to gimp raza which is not something that you see too often one does not simply gimp peach one does not simply gimp raza yeah <laughs> or, and at this point the ie in general down tilt, good follow-up. This is going to be a corner carry and quite the combo and the stock to boot off that, man. If you want to go ahead and back, let me do it. let me tell you what happened, dude. Mistakes were made. That down tilt was from center stage. <laughs> mistakes he were, carried him. Mistakes were made. <laughs> he, made corner, he corner carried him and then continued to carry him. <laughs> that <laughs> is not okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was like a Marvel vs. Capcom 3 corner carry, dude. That's like when you get cornered to the Jesus, at least the when you're in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you get a mix-up to try and survive. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, that's the kind of funny thing I always tell people. Like, it's like you have corner carries in FGC games, right? And you get to live. In this game, you die. There's there's no such thing as coming back from it sometimes. Yeah, well, let's see if he can do it again, because I would love to get a replay of that, <laughs> of that exact interaction. But 1 0 Raza. You know, we were talking about, you know, going places that are, or the goals <laughs> that these players want to reach. You said you wanted a replay. That was almost that, an that exact. Was almost. Yeah. <laughs> he was the forward arrow away. Uh, percent was a little bit higher. I think we would have seen the exact interaction. But honestly, I think there was some, uh, just some incorrect DI on the first time that interaction happened because Razo uh, told Lumbre. Yeah, what to do what after. To do. Good stuff to Razo, though. Like, he knows how to take care of not only himself, but how to take care of his players and his regions. I mean, that's his training partner. Yeah, exactly. And he's kind of like telling Lumbre, like, hey, man. You are the student, I am the master, but I'm not afraid to teach you just to make sure you get a little bit more edge. That's right. The master is definitely here, and that S smash connects onto Lumbre, and that's going to be Socket Man and Razo. I really hope Daisy release characters in the Sith in the next hours. But anyways. Yo, Buff Daisy? Buff right? Daisy, Buff yeah. Daisy? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. almost gets that forward air off the PK fire. It's so hard to actually, like, convert off of uh, a PK fire onto you just because... First of all, you can SDI out of it very easily. Mm -hmm. um, and second, Ra Razo's going to have a plethora of moves that will actually force him to stall and um, change his momentum. Yeah. Speaking so of stall, like, he even makes sure he drifts a little bit back from the PK Thunder, goes for the side of B because he knows he doesn't want to waste a jump and he doesn't want to waste up beat just yet. Exactly. That's, that's crazy. And then <laughs> he still had options to his stall, <laughs> to his float. I do like the fact that even though he knows Lumber might go for the side magnet, he makes sure he tosses out a turn up just to force him into that option so he can fall into the forwarder just like that. Like he knows how to take care of his opponent's comforts. Ooh, okay. Oh, that Very was good. Very good timing on Lumber's recovery that he was able to actually just weave around and just absorb the, the turn up that, that Raza was trying to put out. Uh, unfortunate for the PK Thunder actually connect on Lumber and Raza's going to get an easy punish. Yeah, back air. Raza with a turn up pull. Checks the recovery here. Goes for making sure that Lumber's going to go for the recovery Raza wants. Which facing, he knows Lumber might be coming in hot with a dash attack. He predicted it right. Both, you see a, a trade from both of our players. But unfortunately, Lumber on the losing end as a, it was a back air versus an up air. Man, this is such a juggle. Yo, triple Lumber? <laughs> I like how deep Lumbre is oh, trying to go. Oh, yeah. Still good for Lumbre, though. Like, he made the attempt, but unfortunately, that kind of caused Raza to drift a little bit away to miss the ledge. That's right. It's not an SD if you force your opponent to SD. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a back air. Good drift. I like it. Trying to get for a grab. He saw that Lumbre was in that range. Raza will be able to make it back. Yeah. I was a little scared for a second. I saw the. Incidentals, directional air dodge. Ooh, good air dodge. Going to just completely avoid that drag down up air and getting a couple up airs of his own. Raza now setting up his own ledge trap. Nice. Trips back after that forward air, anticipating Lumbre's reaction. When it comes down to this matchup, honestly, what I'm seeing here is uh, Daisy in the air to air is honestly the one more dominant because she's able to have those strong hitboxes. Great full cancels. I kind of just tower over Ness, oh. and unfortunately, that turn up definitely going to be the one thing that's going to stop Lumbre, and unfortunately, that'll take care of the recovery. Mm -hmm. 2 0 Razo. One well placed turn up is all it takes to put the young man in timeout. Yeah, 2 0 Razo over Lumbre right now. I mean, I know Lumbre wants that bracket reset and possibly able to win this WNF, but. I'm telling you, there's a reason why there's a student and a master, and you even saw earlier, right? Like I mentioned, it, like Raza definitely wasn't afraid to tell Lumber, like, "Hey, man, you're holding this wrong. Di this correctly." <laughs> yeah, you, know, you don't hold in on that. that yeah. Three, two, <laughs> you don't let me one, simply corner carry you, bro. This isn't friendly. <laughs> Good parry. Okay, what's it gonna be? I love that he's going for those downers at the ledge and immediately with the neutral because he knows he's forcing Lumber to go for that neutral recovery or that uh, roll recovery from the ledge. So it's really good that he has that kind of pressure. Mm -hmm. We're gonna connect to Lumber and going on another four there, but uh. well spaced drift from Raza is gonna make sure that it doesn't connect. 
And we see Razo go for the down air at that high level because you want a consistent hitbox to stop the PK Thunder from hitting you up above. So he knows if I don't, if I have a consistent hitbox with uh, down air, which is a multi hit, that'll be my chance. Get the parry, get the forward throw, another turn up pull. That's the dot eyes. Would have done some damage here, but unfortunately for Lumbre, going for that PK Thunder was not the right call that far off. And I think Lumbre actually recognized what turn it was because you can see him immediately respond as soon as he saw the turn up come out, forcing, uh, changing his momentum, using his double jump, which did in fact, you know, set Razo up for the trap that he was using. Ooh, Ooh indeed. Turn up pull, nice. Trade possibly, and of course, <laughs> anticipates the PK Thunder, but he's not gonna get the right trade, but he stops Lumbre's momentum! Who needs to land the Peach Bomber when you know the up? The, the option is that you're just going to stop the momentum. You're yeah. going to make your opponent not uh, have enough drift to make it back to the stage. Talk about big brain plays, man. Razo had to play way, way out there. And honestly, being training partners with one of the best nest mains in SoCal pays its dividends, especially when you have to fight them in grand finals. But hey, honestly, if I were, if I were Razo, you know, even though Moonbrain hasn't gotten a point yet, it's still too early to speak now that it's even stock. I wouldn't be too upset because you're watching your student fight you in grand finals. It's something nothing less than short of to be proud of. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn up for the PK Thunder. Is going to be oh, Ooh, the drift grab. back for the PK Fire. Just stalling out on the ledge. Very smart from Razo. It, it, it takes a, a, a very patient person. Ah. <laughs> To drift in one place. <laughs> that is so true. That is so true. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be the wrap up there. Razo taking it 3-0 over Lumbre this WNF. Yo, man, we ended before. We ended at like, like round 12. My bad. Yeah. Usually one of our quicker Wednesday night fights. 12-02, yeah? One of our more quicker Wednesday night fights. Now, who's excited for Pokemon Masters? Now, Pokemon welcome. Masters? Po Pokemon? Po um, no? You know, I, what, you know what I'm saying? Am I the only one? Nah, dude. Gotcha games. I don't do it. I, I can't. I used I to play Final Fantasy. I don't have to wallop. Get a job. I, this is my job. This is his job. This is his job. This is my job. I don't know if that was more of an insult or more of a big, like, oof, like that. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I wouldn't be excited.